What you doing? I'm the AC, and this is Otaku News Reviews. I'm talking about the brand new manga Marsher Master Asumi by Kawada, who is best known for his manga Hinomaru Sumo. This is Round 1 MMA. The translation is by Nova Skipper. The lettering is by Phil Christie. This first chapter came out on Weekly Shonen Jump on June 18th, 2023, and it's the typical first chapter length of 55 pages. The main character is Nito Asumi. He's 16, second year high school student, and is the middle child of a family of five kids and just their mom and their grandpa, uh, who's the father-in-law of their mom, because their dad it, died in a car accident. Now, the grandpa is 78. He has dementia, and surprisingly, is expert in fighting. Really, the only time his head is clear is when he's fighting in his dojo. Uh, their mom works a lot. We don't even get to see her this chapter, but we get the grandpa i assume reference to her a lot when talking to his older sister ray 23 pretty much takes care of everything in place of their mom working uh, she also has a job that's remote don't know what it is yet and then he has an older brother named kazutora we don't actually see him apparently according to nito he's some deadbeat but their grandpa keeps mistaking nito for kazutora and then he has a younger sister named Miu, 13, 8th grade, kind of has that 8th grader attitude, always on the phone, you know. And then the youngest brother is Shiru, uh, 9, 4th grade, also doesn't, not too fond of ha having to take care of their grandpa either. There's, a going. Be, it looks like there's going to be a lot of drama and to do with the family regardless of the fact that this is supposed to be you know mainly focusing on mma and fighting but it just kept going back to the family and introducing at least most of the family so i just felt like i needed to get that out there too expecting there's going to be more to deal with later but really this first chapter it's main they're mainly just introduced so the chapter actually opens up with the first couple of color pages being some kind of a glimpse at fighting and pretty much Nito stating he doesn't like being in pain, causing pain, fighting, or whatever, not totally into violence, but he likes the feel of the fight. And then we cut to meeting the grandpa and the family and them dealing with that. And then he goes to school where he gets bullied and he has a best friend named Fuchita Yuya. Um, who tries to step up for him. Yuya, we learned, was also really bullied. He kept trying to do sports and then getting just kind of shit on all the time. And now he wants to be a fighter too, getting to MMA. He's really into that. Now he's trying to step up and protect Nito, who doesn't want to do anything with that. And then after that's done, <laughs> Nito's going through uh, doing just stuff for the teacher and runs into a girl. She drops a paper, you know, one of those career forms that we see a lot in anime for some reason. And it says she wants to be an MMA fighter. We don't know who she is yet, but of course we'll have to get there. Then back to the home. See, like what I said, it keeps going back home. Um, more dealing with the grandpa. And then we actually start learning about the family. I already told you all about family, so I don't need to go back into that. And then come back to Nito on the train, talking with Yuya, telling him all oh, he has to take care of his grandpa. Pretty much using an excuse to get out of learning MMA and all that fighting stuff. And then he's jumped by bullies again <laughs> and on the train. But then the girl from earlier jumps in, tries to fight, but Nito jumps in the way and gets kicked instead. Yeah, and then the three go off. Uh, they go to the gym, which it turns out uh, this girl named Nao Akiba, uh, her dad helps run it. She fights there a lot. And she kind of just does like a little practice sparring match with Yuya. And this is where... You know, in a creative way, it runs down what MMA is. It's actually pretty interesting and a neat way to do it without being like, okay, this is fighting violence. It's like, oh, she's fighting you, yeah, and giving, like, without it being like, oh, here, I'm going to teach you. It's pretty much just like her stating what it is, not knowing who Nito is, of course, and then Yuya, you know, just covering the basics, but not in a boring way and not in like a condescending way either. I mean, I'm not a huge MMA fan. I know enough about fighting, though. And it, eh, it was nothing new to me, but it was also like, oh yeah, that's a that's a nice way to do this. And then Nito tries practicing too. For some reason, can't punch properly. Maybe he's nervous. Maybe it's because he's just against fighting. Who knows? But while he's leaving, uh, Yuya stays behind, mentions to Akiba that 
uh, Nito's grandpa used to be a fighter, which we saw earlier that no one's supposed to know. Like, Nito never brought up that his grandpa was also a martial artist and that Nito's been training with him ever since he was a kid. But for some reason, you you know, he probably just heard it around somewhere, especially if he's that popular or that famous, because it seems like Akiba right away puts together, oh, Asami, some old fighter, really popular, probably figured out, never really mentions his grandpa to him, but put the pieces together. So yeah, then leaving, <sighs> jump by the bully again. This guy's persistent and always around. He was a boxer too. We never get his name though, unless I missed it. I'll try looking and making sure, but I'm sure I may have missed it if it said. Yeah, he just keeps popping up and and he starts threatening his friends uh, because Akiba took a video and he wants that race and then to bring Yuya back just so he can bully him too. And this is when Nito finally snaps and fights them, beats all of them up. Uh, Akiba actually has to stop him because she sees this and she kind of kind of almost fans girl over a bit and tries to get him back to the gym but he runs instead gets all the way back home and then his grandpa can tell that he fought and even it's like did you like it and he's like yeah kind of and it echoes the open again he's like he doesn't like the pain or give him pain but for some reason he enjoys fighting who knows and that's where it ends <sighs> and that bully he the way he's introduced and keeps popping up he really feels like he's going to be like a main person he's probably going to be one of those typical like rival to friends kind of deals <sighs> he was he's not annoying but he really did just pop up and keep being an aggressor but now he knows nito can fight so i'm interested to see where that's going to go but i feel like it's going to be the typical rival to friend kind of deal or maybe rival and sometimes reluctant ally maybe who knows where this is going to go it really was just a big introduction chapter not too much going on hmm nothing bad but yeah there's a whole lot of family stuff and i feel like that's gonna be a lot more of the focus and his reason for fighting that and his friends yeah, hmm, i don't know i don't we don't really get to see any other insight as to why he enjoys the fight and maybe he doesn't know he just is but yeah i'm looking forward to see what's going to go on with that grandpa it goes more into how his grandpa became like this and a little getting heartfelt with that like when his dad and you know his grandpa's son died um and he was of course working up about it but nito pretty much only thought about himself and kind of turned away from his grandpa for a bit and then that's when he kind of got the dementia and then he came back so you know kind of feels bad because he thinks he kind of has responsibility in this now but yeah i like this whole family dynamic i think that's what's really going to set this apart from other fighting manga like this because besides that it feels kind of typical um, it says in the description stuff this is supposed to be some kind of serious fighting manga but i don't know if you know but last month do retry came out and that one's a lot more serious and darker and it's a, it's more just straight up boxing and it takes place in the past of course but this feels a bit more lighthearted and a bit more typical shonen you know fighting manga whatever so this, the family dynamic is really what's going to help and of course learning who his brother is and then eventually meeting his mom yeah i think it's going to be a big just putting those two together i don't know what his younger siblings are going to do they're going to probably be there so it'll probably be older siblings grandpa kind of dealing with but yeah i'm looking forward to it nothing bad about it. nothing except like that's going to really stand out too much yet but we'll see where it goes and then, of course, as I always like to talk about the title, to me, really, it's a bit awkward, uh, and I had to practice saying it a bit. Uh, Marshall Master Asami, of course, Asami, their family's last name. It could be referring to Nito becoming a fighter, also his grandpa already being a master. Um, I don't know, but I think it's I got so used to, you know, mixed martial arts. And so, Marshall Master, Martial Arts Master, I feel like feels better martial arts master assuming that way it's m-a-m-a -M -A, but it's also supposed to be m-m-a so i get it but also the chapter name round one mma you know introducing this is going to be about mixed martial arts or mma this is also master martial 
Marshall Master, awesome. Hard, kind of hard to say. Also, round one. I'm glad there's back to like instead of just after it's round because it's fighting. It's obvious, but I like that little things that they do with stuff like this. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. There's a lot of potential for this. Um, like I said, I really like the family dynamic. That's what's going to really make this stand out, if anything, because I don't, I don't see the fighting being anything too new or really going to make it too outstanding. So. We'll just have to see where it goes and what they're going to do with it. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts on it. If you really like this first chapter, you're looking forward to seeing where it's going to go, or uh, you have other comments to make about it, you know, we can do all that. Just leave them in the comments or find me on social media, the AC Stories. Email me at theacstories at gmail.com or join my Discord. Links to all that will be in the description. But if you like what I have to say, go ahead and give a like. If you want to easily keep up with me, go ahead and subscribe. But that's all I have to say about this first chapter of Martial Master Osmi. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'm the AC. Bye.